Good morning and thank you for coming. Today I'm pleased to provide further details about the America's Cup Bermuda, or as we call it, the ACBDA, which is the body which will play a central role in helping the government and Bermuda fulfill its responsibilities as the host venue for the 2017 America's Cup. However, before doing so, I'd like to give a brief update on recent activities. The planning and preparation for the build-out of the initial phases for team bases at Dockyard is well underway. These activities have been carried out uh, with close coordination uh, with our WEDCO team. The work uh, had to be expedited given the intent of Team Oracle to be on the ground in sailing uh, by May of this year. The America's Cup Event Authority has been working closely with our team and planning their move to Bermuda beginning in February and March. As reported, the ACEA, the America's Cup Event Authority, has already begun advertising for positions it wishes to fill from within the Bermuda community at www.americascup.com on the jobs board and in the World Gazette. I understand that they are delighted with the volume and quality of the responses they have received. More than 700 individuals have applied for the advertised jobs. The Ministry of Economic Development and the ACBDA team are currently involved in budget preparations for both the final quarter of the government fiscal year and for the upcoming 2015-16 budget. More information will be forthcoming in the upcoming budget debate. Now I'd like to provide uh, further details about the ACBDA and its role. The government has key goals we want to achieve from hosting the America's Cup. These goals include, firstly, that the benefits arising from the America's Cup events be spread throughout Bermuda as much as possible. Having said that, we all need to understand that the America's Cup does not give any of us automatic rights to income or opportunity. We are going to have to earn those opportunities by providing value. Secondly, that Bermuda delivers the venues with excellence, as committed, on time, in a way that will portray Bermuda at its best to the world audience, which will be watching. Third, that in creating the America's Cup Village, we are always mindful of the enduring legacy impact on Bermuda. We want the investments to have a long-term positive impact on Bermuda for years to come. This will apply not just to the village, but to Dockyard as a whole and to other areas of Bermuda. Fourth, that the intended outreach throughout the community, as expressed to us by the America's Cup Event Authority, impacts a wide range of people. Now, this will include taking their uh, ACA STEM, and that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math programs, into the schools to engage from these young people with the teams and the magnificent sailing they will be undertaking in Bermuda. The outreach will also include other relevant local organizations, such as sailing and boating clubs that can interact and gain from involvement and association with the America's Cup. And fifth, that we seek to maximize the opportunity and positive exposure of Bermuda on the world stage. Now, just before the end of last year, you will recall that we formally registered the ACBDA as a company. It is owned by government as the, share, as the sole shareholder, but will carry out its role as an independent body with full accountability to the government the Ministry of Economic Development. We chose a company structure which has been successfully used before, the BLDC being an example. With this structure, the ACBDA will have the ability to hire a small staff, engage consultants, and enter into contracts in order to carry out its responsibilities. During its operation, the ACBDA will be funded by an annual grant from the Ministry of Economic Development, much like the Bermuda Business Development Agency. The ACBDA, in conjunction with the Ministry of Economic Development, as well as other government ministries when required, will be responsible for delivering all of the commitments we have made to the ACEA. It will interact with the ACEA and provide a liaison with it, the teams, and Bermuda. It will also provide welcoming services to those who will be relocating to Bermuda and for generally assisting individuals and groups associated with the America's Cup in Bermuda. In carrying out its responsibilities, the ACBDA will represent Bermuda's interests with the America's Cup Event Authority, the teams, and other parties, and will also work to ensure effective communications with the broader, uh, broader Bermuda community. 
In addition, the ACBDA will work with the ACEA to help raise sponsorship funds to offset Bermuda's financial guarantee commitments. So in keeping with its company structure, the ACBDA has a board of directors who will be responsible for the oversight and governance of the company and to ensure it carries out its operational responsibilities in a fair and effective manner. Reporting to the board uh, will be a small operational group uh, headed by a chief executive officer or CEO. Now with these goals in mind, we have reached out into the community to seek board members who are willing to contribute their time and talent and bring their exper specific experience and skills to the benefit of our America's Cup efforts. We have chosen individuals who combine knowledge and expertise and represent a wide cross-section of the community. The ACBDA board has 10 directors, including a chairman. And now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the newly constituted board of directors of the ACBDA and its chairman. Many of you will be aware that Peter Durhager recently retired from Renaissance Ray. Peter played a key role in the successful America's Cup Bermuda Big Team. Peter is currently the chairman of Ascendant, served for the last five years as co-chair of the Bermuda First and as chair of the Bermuda Community Foundation. I could go on for some time about Peter's accomplishments. Suffice it to say, when you need a job done, go to busy people. I'm delighted to announce that Peter has agreed to serve as chairman of the ACBDA. Peter will be joined by the following individuals who have kindly agreed to serve pro bono on our board. These are individuals who bring together a wide cross-section of experience, outreach, and knowledge. All of them will bring something unique to our efforts going forward. So, in addition to Peter Durhacher, the directors are, and I'm not going to go through all the bios which are in the uh, pack, uh, but simply read off the names. John Collis, David Dodwell, Darren Johnston, Warren Jones, Donna Pierman, Denise Riviere, Jasmine Smith, and I'd just like to note that Jasmine will be the lead liaison between the ACBD and government, and actually represent government on the board, and Blythe Walker. Now, in addition, the ACBD, uh, ACBDA CEO, Mike Winfield, will be a member of the board and will be introduced shortly by the chairman. Before handing over to Peter Durhager, let me say that we'll be, we will continue sharing information as it evolves. There is much to be done to ensure success, and success must be defined not just by the delivery of the venues with excellence, but also in the long-term sustainable benefits that Bermuda can realize from the events. I believe that the America's Cup can be a significant catalyst for Bermuda's broad economic revival and mark a defining point in our recovery. Thank you.